I ask you a hypothetical question? Oh, dear, I don't like hypothetical questions. Well, I don't think you're gonna like the real one, either. Do you have the papers? Not yet. I realized that this was the story of the two of them, that this was her coming of age story, that it was this moment, the decision to publish the Pentagon Papers was really the moment in her life where she chose to be the person she was gonna be and where she found her voice. And it was really exciting for me, this concept of writing a sort of coming of age story about a woman in her 50s. You know, we tend to think that you come of age when you're 17 and I'm pretty hopeful that I did not turn into the person I was gonna be when I was 17 years old. And so you don't really realize until you get older that you come of age in many different times in your life, in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s. And something about Kay and that she had never had a time that she, she had never found her voice. She had never really been given the opportunity to step up and say, this is who I am. You're concerned about having a woman in charge of the paper that she doesn't have the resolve to make the tough choices. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. Let's do our jobs. Find those pages. For me, it was about getting her voice finally heard and having history recognize this woman and having an audience recognize this woman. And it's interesting because part of the story is having all of the people in the movie recognize her. And the ensemble, which is pretty stunning, um, not just the, the cast, but the actual people that are in this, this that this movie is about, um, it's about all of them sort of slowly turning their heads and realizing who she is. And that kind of she's been under their nose the whole time, but all of a sudden she has come to life. To make this decision, to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life. Well, I think that's brave. If the government wins, the Washington Post will cease to exist. So much of this movie could have been Kay Graham being a victim. There are a lot of things in Kay's life that happened to her that should have made her feel victimized and little and like, oh, woe is me. She never thought about it like that. She never, ever looked at herself that way. And that's a really, really fine line to walk um, in every aspect of making the movie, but particularly for Meryl. And I do not, I do not envy the job that she has. It's, it's daunting. And to watch her make it look so easy when I know that it's not, you know, is, is pretty remarkable. What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham? 